Hello, welcome to hump day. <laughs> Hello, Sumio. Ah, oh, good morning to you. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome, everybody. The, all there, near and far. It's Osuki. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Ah, love seeing those buns. Love seeing those buns in chat. <laughs> Makes my heart happy. How's everybody doing tonight? Stretch already. All right. Oh, oh stretch the back. Stretch the back. Oh, wow. Oh, there's I'm sure I I'm sure I broke something there. That's fine. It's just it's just the meat suit. I can get it fixed. Ready for the spooks. Okay, have you ever played this game, Usuki? Um so and I don't know if you were here last the when I started it. So I, this is like, I, I'm, or, I'm in the game about three hours. Uh, I think the game is supposed to be like 10 hours-ish long. So I probably won't finish it tonight. But, um, so here's, here's the deal. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. No, just watched it a couple of times. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This is my theory. I, I don't know if it's even close to being right. Here's what we know so far. Um... We know that Simon is, we know that Simon has a brain injury. We know that he was going for an experimental brain scan. We know that he wakes up from that experimental brain scan in a completely different place, 75-ish years in the future. So, um, and, and based on what Case told me in the last stream, we know that he's actually, he's not a robot. He's meat, he's made of meat. Oh, yes, he's Canadian. Very important. So he's super nice. <laughs> he's super nice, and he likes poutine. Um, and um, we know... So we know that he is actually human. Like, meat made. Meat of... He's biological. He's got a meat. He's made of meat. Uh, so there's a possi couple possibilities. Um, the least likely being that he is just a very, very old Simon. But I think that that's dumb. He's also very dumb, yes. <laughs> um... We know that he, I think that's the least likely option, that he's just very, very old now. He would have to be probably almost 100 years old, um, if not over. Um, so that's probably not, that doesn't fit. Um, the other thing we know up till now is that we know that Carl, who was controlling one of the robots, uh, is, now, is now dead. His body, his biological body is dead. However, a robot claiming to be Carl is, is still functioning and claims to be, is convinced that he is human. Um, and we also know through like, not positive, but we know that kind of, we get hints that, that the human beings on this, in this undersea thing, were controlling robots, drone type robots with their brain parts, at least partially. So here's my thought. My thought is that Carl's consciousness got trapped in his robot when his body was destroyed. And he's trapped there. Uh, but he doesn't know it. So how does that work with Simon? Well, with Simon, I think what has happened is, the possibility is that he has been, his consciousness has been transferred multiple times over the last 75-ish years. And he's just in the latest version of himself. Because he hasn't, I mean, he's, we can see his own hands, but he has not seen himself in a mirror. So we don't know that he knows what he looks like. And as Usuki pointed out, he is very dumb. <laughs> so, um, so yes, Luna Galaxy Brain. You can see the, the, the mathematical equations floating above my head. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, it doesn't feel quite complete, but that makes sense because, you know, I'm new to this style of game. And I will say, it's very eerie game, very creepy. I did do a couple of, there were a couple of screams, a couple of screamy screams in the last session, but I think I did okay. I did okay. So uh, we're gonna load this game. I'm also in safe, zo safe mode, but um, despite being in safe mode and reminding myself I'm in safe mode, I still behaved as if I was gonna die at any moment. <laughs> So, load game, yes. So let's jump into it, friends. 
Simon is looking for a shuttle station that can take him to Lambda, where Catherine said she would wait for him. Hey, Silver! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! Woo! Welcome, welcome! You're just in time. You're just in time. You missed my, my, my theory about what's happening, but um, I'm sure I'm wrong anyway. <laughs> but we're gonna get started. Oh, press any button to continue. Okay, I'm looking for... That's where I came from, so I'm looking for... a thingy. Hey, Yammers, welcome! Okay, so let's start with the left. Let's go to the left. Oh, and another thing we know is that apparently, uh, unbeknownst, like, I unconsciously, like, Simon unconsciously acquires, automatically acquires this amazing swimsuit that he can breathe with. Does that say anything useful? No, it doesn't. Does this say anything? No, it doesn't say anything that I can read. Uh, that doesn't open anymore. Unless I can... No, it's been... It's, it's cemented. All right. So we tried that left door to the left. Door to the left. Hey, Prota, welcome, welcome. Uh, Carrion is taking way longer than I thought, and what's the theory? Okay, so I'll try and be more succinct about it the second time around. My theory, so we know that, we know that Simon is about 75 years into the future from the point of time when he was first put in this, in the, that weird chair. So he's either very old, which feels wrong, doesn't feel like that's correct, um, or his consciousness has been transferred several times over the last 75 years into different bodies. And for whatever reason, he doesn't remember that portion of events. Um, it doesn't feel quite right, because it just doesn't feel complete. But um, uh, And then we do... My, my basis for that theory is that um, Carl... The robot, i.e. Carl the guy, uh, Carl, Carl the body, the human, is dead, but Carl the robot is absolutely convinced that he is human and alive. So my theory is because they sort of hinted that these um, robots were controlled by human consciousness, directed kind of in that way, um, by human consciousness, that at the moment of Carl's death, he got, his consciousness got stuck inside the robot. Um, so that's my, th so that is the basis for, now I could be wrong about that in which if that's the basis for my, my theory, then, then it's all wrong. But, um, my theory is that, uh, that is what has happened to Carl. And so if that is what happened to Carl, it's possible that something similar happened to Simon, but in, he's been, his consciousness rather being rather than being transposed into a robot, has been transposed into a human being in a similar way. Vis-a-vis, -vis, perhaps, it was transferred to a robot, then robot to human, then vice, and you know. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this is the only, what is this? Can I interact with this? This looks like a thing, a place where things happen. This is a place where things happen, but, oh, wow, thank you for subscribing. Woo! Thank you. Let's see. I think that means you get buns. No spoilers, but you are close. Okay, yeah, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. It's good to know I'm a little bit close. Um, okay, can I get up? Can I go up? I can't really, I can jump. But I can't really swim upward. I can just sort of hover. So, Kay said to go toward the light, and this is where, this is the most lit place. It's so lit, you guys! Party time! <laughs> it's really lit. Can't... What's this? Ooh. Uh, gallows, maybe. Oh. Okay, well... Yep, just keep following the lights. All right. Well, here are some lights. Here are some... I see some distant red lights, but red is danger, danger zone, and I don't want it to be... I don't want to fly into the danger zone. Fly into the danger zone. You're welcome, everyone. What is this? 
why is it that I feel less frightened in this particular this particular environment than I was on the inside? This should be terrifying. This should be absolutely terrifying. All right, I'm a little puzzled as to what I should do. It makes sense that this would be where I need to where I would need to go. I feel like there's something about this that what? I feel like there's something like th about this that I need to know. Seems important. What's this? What's this? This also feels important. I want to use my Omni tool on it, but apparently I can't use my Omni tool. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you and you and um you and Fig get really like like your bio feedback for games is really intense. I'm surprised that you guys play the games you play. It would feel like it would just be too much. All right. I'm okay. So, other than that, let's just, okay, let's backtrack a little bit. That appears to be the only way to go. And there are lots of, like, this is where I busted out. Went that way, that didn't work. Went this way, this didn't work. I think I went this way. Oh, really? Oh, wait, we didn't go this way. Oh, but this isn't lit. This isn't a lit path. This is totally not lit, but those are lights. Those are lights up there. Oh, but what if I get eaten by, by, by robo-sharks? Somehow that reminds me of street sharks. Which I have never seen an episode of. And I feel robbed. I feel robbed. Oh! That's un unsettling. Hi! Lights, barnacles, action. Barnacles? Oh wait, things, buttons, but my little thing doesn't light up. Oh. Can I push a button? I'm thinking about different movies that I would like to have watch alongs with. And they're all movies I have not seen in quite some time. So I don't know if they are you know when you you there's a movie that you in from your memory you're like oh I really love that movie but you can't quite remember a lot of it and so you're a little bit worried that it's probably problematic now <laughs> but you're afraid to find out that's how I feel about the selection of movies that I am considering for a watch along right now um so I'm not really sure what to do about that uh so one of the movies I'm... Th oh, I saw a thingy move. That was a move thingy. I don't like that story. I don't like movement. None of that shit. Search movies if you know tag words for it. Oh, interesting. So one of the movies I'm thinking of is a movie called Flight of the Navigator. And these are all movies that I that are like nostalgic, but kind of also spacey robot related and thought would be kind of fun. So one is Flight of the Navigator. The other one is um, um, Short Circuit. And I think Short Circuit has a sequel as well. Or is it Short Circuit? I think that's the name of it. Also about robots. I don't like this story. I'm probably getting stung by all kinds of crazy shit in here. Uh, I saw something moving over here. Do I have a flashlight? <gasps> How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? <laughs> now I get a flashlight? Right. Right underwater. Where I don't want to, where I don't want to draw attention to myself. Where I'm not. Where the only thing I'm really looking for is a is a boat, is like a some sort of vessel. Are they really making a remake of Flight of the Navigator? Wow. Oh, they're gonna ruin it. They're gonna ruin it. It's just like they ruin everything else from my childhood. Well, see, now this is confusing because if the direction to follow the light, the light's everywhere. I could be potentially going in any direction. Guy's got to be more specific. 
This looks official. Ooh, data buffer. Here we go, guys. Info. Come in, Theta. You better answer me, Strasky. Come on! Amy, where, where are you? The field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You, you got the power on me. Totally right? did. The, the plant is safe. We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, all right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yeah. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. I'm rooting for you. Huh. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Well. Huh. The robots killed Carl. Well, that's very troubling. Because now Carl is robots. Talk about... Talk about identity crisis. I don't... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't see any more... I don't see any more streetlights. <laughs> it snows underwater, everybody. That's just the fish poop. Let's see. Ooh. I wonder if they're aqua robots. Aquabots. I think that this would be a good time to talk about Aquaman. How about you guys? Now, oh, 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 hi, Krabby. It's Krabby Crab, Crab Dance. Um, Aquaman, yes. So, oh, oh, shit. I, you're real. Give me something for the pain. Oh. I, I, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't have anything for you. Do I? Thanks, Frem. Thanks, Frem. Sorry about your, your, your troubles. Which Aquaman? Oh, hey, Silipenda. A comic or movie? Uh. Stop following me. You know I don't have anything. Um, I'm gonna go with movie. I'm not- you're not the bad guy. I'm just- I don't have the juice you like. I'm- I'm just a dude. I'm just a dude. I'm just a dude. Yeah, that's Mermaid Man. No, um, I'm gonna go with movie because, uh, or just the kind of concept in general of- of him as a hero. Like, I kind of- like, what's his- what are his powers? I'm asking about Aquaman because I feel it. Oh, hey. Oh, well, I guess water helps. Uh. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You have a gun. You have a gun. That was a very bad idea. Oh, it's sort of cute. I thought it was a helmet. So presumably Aquaman can communicate with the underwater creatures, yes? Upsilon. Upsilon, downsilon. Let's see. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing with you, darling? What do you need, babe? Tell me the secrets. He's also like super strong or something. Okay. And what are his weapons of choice? Like, can he can he sort of control the water like like a weird uh, Poseidon esque type of person? This looks like it's just a tank, like a fuel tank or something. Water bend. Okay. So the reason I ask, I wish I think it was just an appropriate time to discuss an underwater hero, is that so 
I would like to see Aquaman in a in a battle with the girl from Captain Planet who also controls water and speaks to the fish. Because I'd like to get a side-by-side -side comparison for, for strength. I feel like... Uh, I feel like she's kind of probably got a better uh, relationship with the underwater creatures. Where are my Aquaman VTubers? Come on, guys. Where are my nerds? Where are my nerds at? It's okay. I probably should have picked a, a, a hero that I actually had any idea, uh, any actual strong opinions about. Are you going to come with me? Okay, cool. That's cool. He for sure has a trident and maybe some minor water stuff, but not crazy amounts, I think. I'm sorry, bud. What? I don't have shit, man. Leave me alone. I don't have any structure gel. That sounds like something that women use to get make themselves look younger. I bought some new structure gel today from the mall. Another superhero that I feel bad about, I know very little about, is uh, the Green Lantern. I know he has a ring. Someone put a ring on it. This flashlight's very ineffective. Are you still coming with me? All right. All right, little buddy. Sidekick. Yay, robo sidekick. Although he can only operate in the water. Come on, robo sidekick. Water bot and Simon, best friends, taking on the world. One challenge at a time. We can do anything for love. Except for any butt stuff. Bam, bam. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Hey, Kuboto! Good to see ya! Okay. Listen, you do you have a little- is that what- do you have a little gun? Is that what uh, that is? I think- or maybe that's your flashlight. Great, now that I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you, did you catch, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry, but maybe a little bit. Listen, I think she controls water, but not sea life, right. She can communicate with them and kind of get them to help. Protected pancakes. Thank you, protected pancakes. Hey friend. So all I've acquired thus far in the underwater land is this, my, my robo friend, Robobot, uh, Aquabot. Simon and Aquabot. Short ride turned into a big ride. Yeah, I bet it did, slut. <laughs> all right. Now what? Now, where'd you go, little baby robot? Aquabot. Friend, friend to Simon. Okay, so, all right. Was I supposed to do something else? Hey, Aquabot. What's what's now? What do we do now? Uh. Small town pawn shops are my weakness. What did you pawn? One of my guilty pleasure shows is Pawn Stars. For the same reason I think that Antiques Roadshow is 
a, a, a guilty pleasure of mine. It's that I own absolutely nothing of value that could possibly be pawned. <laughs> okay, so that didn't help. Nothing that didn't... I, I have Robobot. I have Robo... I have Aquabot. Aquabot who's following me around. Can Aquabot hold a gun or a pair of car? Does it need food? I don't know, because I, when I get close to him, he seems okay. But I don't know what to do with him. I don't know how to activate his powers. Yeah. He has to believe in himself, I imagine, right? He looks like he has, like, a little... Either a gun or, like, a little welding tool in the end there. Great deal in an unfired CD because they didn't know what it was. It was marked with the wrong caliber and everything. Wow. That would be... Seems like it would be a hard sell. And does not know the way. He will do his thing when it is time. When it is time. It is not time yet. There's more beyond where I found the robot. Oh, I didn't go far enough. I didn't go all the way. I went backwards. Gosh diggity darn it. Me and Aquabot are friends, you guys. Don't be jealous. Aquabot tells me about his feelings and all of his thoughts and where he went to school when he was five. And he talks about his favorite food and the bullies that make fun of him at school. And he talks to me about his sticker collection. And he tells me that I'm his best friend forever and ever. And he brushes my hair and he braids it. Eh? Eh? Oh, but now I'm gonna have to pass by that poor, that sad sack robot. I don't like that sad sack robot. He makes me feel bad about nothing that I've ever done. But I have Aquabot who keeps me company and he makes me feel a little bit better because I saved him and now we're friends and that's how that works. Relationships are exactly that un <laughs> that uncomplicated. Redbot will get over it. He best. He best, because I can't help him. This is my favorite portrayal of the deep sea in any game. I was saying earlier that uh, I this should be terrifying to me, because one of my phobias is actually water, deep water that I can't see the bottom of. Um and uh, drowning is a phobia of mine, but I feel less anxiety about this portion of the game, uh, this portion of the game than inside. Yes, that's true. I, I am actually on the bottom, so I can, in, in, but see, the bo reason why I don't like the bottom is, is because on the bottom of the ocean are, oh, go away, sad robot, sad, sad robot. I thought toe hairs. They're not really a phobia. They're just gross. Um, but yes, I on the bottom of the ocean are are are. S wow, language um, is that there's like dragons and and snakes and and sharks. Where would I keep it? Where would I keep it? Look at me. I have. It's just I'm a, just a dude with a suit on. Where would I keep your stupid gel? God damn it. Hey, hey, Angry Channy, Pigeon Boy. I heard the bloop. Did I not? Was I talking over the bloop? So this is where I found... No, I missed it. I missed it. I talked over it. I was gabbing. This is where I saved Aquabot. And then I found this, and that wasn't helpful. So, there was another path, I think, down here, perhaps? Knock and the door will open. Look for a closed door. Well, I found several of those. Let's see, what's over here? Closed doors. Closed doors. 
In the middle of the sea, closed doors. There are none that I can see. I rhyme C with C, but it's a homophone, so go to hell. All right, where's this? I can find you a map of this place if you need it. Oh, well, that's nice. I probably wouldn't. I don't know if I can access it. Was that a preview of the karaoke? The karaoke will sadly not be uh, little little jingles of my own creation. But. My flashlight is very cr Oh, that's why my flashlight is, is, is underwater. This is now where I finally have a flashlight, but it's not very good. Did you get here? Well, you jumped in the water. Ooh. So if you look up, you can see big pipes. Follow those. Eh. In which direction? No, I didn't. Go away. I'm sorry about your. I'm sorry about your your loss. Is. Structure Don't have it. Ooh, green light. Green light. Give me the green light. I see you. This is a thing. Here's a thing. We found a thing, everyone. We've discovered a thing. I didn't see that. Oh, Kubota, thank you for the donations. I didn't see that. I apologize. I was totally very intently looking at this. Go back to where you found the robot and keep going. Maybe? Okay, I don't know what direction that was now. I think I came like this. I'm distinctly getting getting lost here every playthrough. <laughs> Who said anything about getting hurt, man? Oh, okay, so here's a pipe, and it's following the lights. This is two indicators of a direction I need to go. Here's the little thingy boo, little glowy light, the upsilon or upsilo, upsidownsy, ups, upsidoozy, upsid, up, upchuck. Okay, so here we are. We're here, here we are. This is where I saved Aquabot. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Aquabot. BFFs for life, right? Am I right? Yeah, my, my, my flashlight's useless here. Thank goodness for Aquabot. That looks important. As is that. That's actually working. But I'm starting to wig out. I'm starting to wig out, which is bad. Bad news bears. I don't like that. Doesn't make me feel good. I'm gonna stay over here. Hi! I do like those the auto lights. That's helpful too. Here's a thing. And then here we got the little, like, kind of, like, reflecty lights that are like, come to the, by this path. This is like the things that you put out your front door in the summertime to guard, guide people to your garden party underwater. This is a good thing. The wigging is caused by EM interference. It means live electric current. That seemed, okay, so zappy zappies.
Why can't I just find a dolphin that I can, like, ride to victory? Is that so much to ask? There's more lights. But I think that leads me back to where I started. I to go this way. Because that's a light, but it's not, it didn't do the zappy zappy yet. Ah, it's a bigger boy. Ah, oh, he's gonna get pissed at me. Hi, other robot friend. Ooh, this looks bad. This is like this is this is like the eye of Sauron bad here. I'm still trying to figure out this situation here. This sort of weird, organic, robotic protuberances all over the place. I am going uphill, it seems. Ah, the shuttle station. Wow, you'd think they'd like pave it or something. Sounds like somebody hasn't been playing Minecraft. I could explain, but spoilers. Don't. Oh. Oh. Well, thanks, little buddy. See, what I tell you guys, Aquabot, me and him, best friends for life, teammates. Thanks, little buddy. Call me. Well, oh. Thanks, little guy. <laughs> thanks, little guy. No, write, don't forget to write. Oh. He just left. Oh. He repaid his debt. Oh, that's I guess that's true. That's adorable. But now I'm gonna miss him. Hmm. Oh now it's gonna get scary again. See it's water filled, Aquabot. You can come with me. Come with me, Aquabot. You can have you can have the best spot by the fire. Oh, yeah, wait. Damn it. Best spot by the aquarium? Okay. I love you, Aquabot. All right. Well. <sighs> Somebody let the cleaning go to hell. See. Oh, good. Now my flashlight actually does something. I don't know if I want it to do something though. It's time to get back to the. Now I gotta. Now I feel like I gotta get sneaky, sneaky again. Ooh, Omni Tool. What are you, anthropomorphic chap liver? No, you're anthropomorphic AI. Oh. 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 Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, it froze. It froze for a second. Access Let's grant? Let's the shuttle still work. Uh, if it's this crusty, probably not. Oh, god damn it. Are you shitting me? Wait, so we've got power running to the door, but we don't have power for emergency lighting? Yeah, I get that. Toggle your flashlight, which replies I'm going to have to toggle it off at some point because there's going to be some creep monster that's going to follow me into the darkness and send me to straight to hell. Where I belong, but it's earlier than I was hoping to go. Oh, God damn it. Shifty, shifty time. Wait. Oh, there we go. Ooh, data bar. Here we go, guys. Info dump. Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie, I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. 
with my Allen wrenches and my gumption. That's how I usually, usually fix things. It's 90% gumption. Well, ooh, that, ooh. Well, there's the shuttle-ish, kind of. Uh, yes. The shuttle. Time to get on the E train. Let's see. I should probably stand up. <laughs> ah, yes, mind the gap. Oh, in the ocean. And the death robots. And the... The nagging... <laughs> the nagging at your sight... Uh, in the back of your mind that says that you're probably not human. Insufficient power. Oh, well, all right. I had to try anyway. Sometimes those things are liars. Sometimes they lie. Okay, then. Can't do that. Can't do that. Our player character is only a little dumb. Well, I mean, in some ways, he's only as smart as I am, right? So, oh, wait. Can I throw this at something? Will that help me? I'm going to put it down, because it's probably important, and I'm just being a, a dick about the physics. So, I could get on the shuttle. Oh. I could get on the shuttle, or I could just follow the, the rail, right? What do we have? Nothing. Oh, a butthole. Here we go. Here we go. Power up. Oh. Oh, that, that was much more aggressive Jesus than I remember. Christ. What the hell? You ooh. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Follow the light. That is always what I have been told about these types of things. I see a flickering in the distance. I see a light. Let's go here. I'm sure this won't end badly. Oh, we just had a savey, a savey brain, so that means something's happening. Shifty, sneaky, sneaky. And then I do the... Oh, that's just the wall, I think. Oh no, there's a hole back there. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. See now, this is not, this is, if this were a re, an in real life situation, this is, I would say, oh, it looks like something bored through the wall. It's probably, if it's powerful enough to bore through stone underneath the ocean, it's probably strong enough to crush my skull in a moment. So I should probably just leave it the fuck alone, right? What if the light is a horned lantern fish? What you say, that would mean I'm a horned lantern fish? Or I'm holding a horned lantern fish and I'm just sort of squeezing it every time I want the light to come on? Simon works retail. He's used to walking up to dangerous creatures. That's right. He's used to being a meat shield. Just drippy drippy. Yeah, I don't think this system would work even if the power was working. There's too much debris on the rails. Ooh. 
I have to say, I have to give myself a hearty pat on the back. I feel like... I feel like if I had tried to play this game, like if this had been one of the first games I'd ever streamed, I think that I would just shit my pants right away and fear quit in about four minutes. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh, god damn it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my gosh, he's on a ventilator. Oh dear, that's bad. That's bad news bears. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You find my run super good. I will. <laughs> well, that, you know what? I'm going to say that means a lot to me. As somebody who I feel into. Oh. Is that a body? Oh, no. I feel intimidated by this sort of thing. And I feel intimidated by people who are. are can, would call themselves gamers. Of, um, You know, I, I play games, but I wouldn't call myself a gamer just because I feel like I don't play with any grace. Or. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, do, I don't do it very well. Wow. Holy shit. Huh. Now this thing is like moving and in oozing. It's so weird. It's like half biological, half mechanical. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. I don't want to. Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. It won't let me die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything oh. I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Wow. Wow. So, uh, all right, okay, 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 okay. Gears are turning. So this thing, this key, this thing is keeping her alive. It needs her to stay alive for some reason. It needs her to be alive. It needs, so it needs a human being, it needs bio biologically, it needs her to be alive, even though it's sort of a machine type thing. Although, looking at her, she looks partially mechanical, too. This is so fucked up and weird. Powered. Basic systems powered. Power supply. Tracks. Offline. Sy safety. Offline. Power supply. Okie dokie. Well, if I unplug her, she'll die, right? And that'll be good for her, right? You would, she wouldn't want to live that way. See where the cables go before unplugging. Cables, there's one cable in her face. There's one cable presumably in going into her back. There's a cable, I'm going to say, is going into, it looks like it's going into a kidney or a liver. It's going into her vital organs. I mean, I could go, I could... Correct, she's not here. Huh. Amy is gone. Yes, Amy is gone. So that means that whoever was so that who was talking to me was that the creepy monster, creepy creepy robo monster? Because we know we know that Carl is quote unquote gone, but he's not really gone. He's in the robot. His but his corpse meets there. 
All right. Ewe. All right. Well, friend, let's see. She's not okay. Fuck. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, fuck. Sorry, Amy. But you know what, Amy? You're probably better off. Why'd I kill her? Well, because the game sh indicated that that was probably what I needed to do. And also, would you want to live that way? There's no- hey, Mectrons, there's no way that anybody else but me- like, she- who knows how long she's been like that? I, actually, I think we do know how long she's been like that. She's been like that for, for like a third of the year. What is it, a hundred- no, like 143 days or something? And, uh... So, there's no- she could be that way indefinitely. I guess assuming that bodies don't rot in the same way in this world, but I would not want to live that way. Uh, I just unplugged a chick that is there but not there. I'm still trying to figure that part out. So, uh... So when she was saying to me, get help, get help, you know, she's talking to me as Amy, is that, was that the, the robot or the, the entity that was attached to her talking or was it her? Or would that give it away? Oh yeah, kill me, absolutely kill me. Everyone in that situation would want to die unless there is an option to save them. I don't think there was an option to save her. She was plugged in or not plugged in. All right, it'll be explained. Oh! What? I can't go to Magic Kingdom. God damn it. So I want to go to Theta. Wait, why are four and six both? Oh, that's the shuttle number. Four or six. Well, what numbers are these? What number is this shuttle? Oh, well, it's telling me to go here, so that's what I'm doing. Adaptable pipes. Indeed. Research facility, Carthage, Portugal. 2084. This was, so this is a couple, this is a... Uh, 20 years old. This piece of paper is 20 years old-ish. HC bells. Repair set. Food... Flood able airlock repair. Kooky. Okay, suspension of disbelief gone. There's no graffiti anywhere. Not a used condom in sight. I should rage quit right now. All right, here we go. Shuttle J6 activated. Cool. Standing by. A bunch of folks felt the game took place over the course of a week. Really? That's pretty obtuse. Helper Jane. Is that like Microsoft Sally? Okay, I bet- oh, I see. I bet I have to- okay, I'm taking this back. I'm taking this back because I don't want to lose it. Wait. Sit down? Don't tell me to sit down! There's some story in the shuttle- in the other shuttle if you want. Really? I do want story. Or are you trying to get me killed? Ooh. 
Presence. Oh. Physics. Paper. Paper. Let's see. Drawing widgets. There's a little boat thingy that there's that robot I saw, but it's kind of like breathing fire on a boat. And then there's a fish with half but no face. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, manifest. Shuttle beat. Items. Ticket. Hazard report. Impact event. On the morning of January 12th, the comet Talos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2 unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on the surface platform Omega, which is under the, circu un under the circumstances is a small price to pay. They will hold an energy meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But but all this shit, this is just it was underwater it was all set up before that happened, and that happened and and now the surface is unlivable. <sighs> yes, you you caught me. My bad. Oh, video. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way, along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. No. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick your fence. Big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Oh, butts. Well, that's what you get, my friend. Tell everyone, it, let that be a lesson to you, friends. Tell the people in your life that you love them, all right? Uh, if you need help creating, I can help you in Discord how to create another account with the channel name Modbot. Oh, I see. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Okay, so here we are, friends. So now this adds a layer because this, I, I but I feel like, so, okay. So I'm going to venture a guess that the meteor that crashed into the ocean has something to do with the weird bullshit vines slash tentacles busting into, busting through the walls. I love y'all. Listen, you guys, tell the people in your life you love them. It's stupid to, to, to worry about, you know. What will people think? It won't matter because they'll all be eaten alive by robot death meteors. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Simon doesn't know how to run this thing. I mean, the AI and the computer does, but. Well, that was easy. Never even had to take a course. Let's see. I am here. That's Upsilon A. Upsilon fucked is what that is right there. I want to go... I want to go to Theta, right? Theta's the goal. Right? Let's see. What's Lambda? Transport Terminal and Visitor Center. Theta, administration, mission control. Yeah, she told me to go to Theta because she'd be waiting there for me, but that was Amy, right? And Amy's totes dead. 
But no, that was somebody different. No, Catherine. Catherine was the one or something. Ka her name was Catherine. She told me to meet her at Theta. And what's Omnicron? Med res. Oh, that's the med place. Two meters. Personnel. Huh. So this is all in the ocean. This is on land. Those are fucked, right? Those are probably fucked. Yeah, let's go to Theta, you guys. Let's just... Let's just go to Theta. And it's full of bees! Ah! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. None of this matters. Three minutes. Welcome Ooh. to Pathos 2. Your expressway Ooh. to the stars. Exposition's coming, I sense. It's a thermal mining operation in the 60s. Ah. It's now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Nice. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. Damn combustion. At multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecraft. Not anymore, my man. Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. Snore! Epsilon for Theta. Theta is considered the heart of Pathos 2. It houses station administration, medical facilities, and the payload assembly crew, prepping and programming satellites before ah. they are shipped off to Phi for launch. Well, thank you. Seriously, not a single, not not a, not not a single programmer for this game thought it would be funny to put like a tiny drawing of a penis somewhere. Oh. Use my Omni tool to fix it. Emergency exit. Is that. Well, that's the direction I was going. The dick drawings were in the owner's manual. Now you'll never get to see them. Man! I'll never get to see what's inevitably going to be the same picture over and over again. Juicy. That's not one of those little compartments, those little lunch boxes, those little, those little, uh, bento boxes everybody likes to eat from. I really don't think this flashlight is helping me. Is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. Oh, no, fuck. I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, <laughs> It's fine. You're so I'm sure it's fine. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked on to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance uh, hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Great. Sea dragons. Sea dragons are happening. Catherine? You okay? Uh, maintenance hatch. Maintenance hatch. Perhaps this glowing light will have some answers. Right, a phone?
That looks like a thing. A very crusty thing. Shifty, shifty. Okay, so the light, the flashlight kind of helps here. What I want to know is, after all, since all this shit is, is like clearly has happened, this is, this has been, this has been this way for at least twenty years, right? Like, but so she's still at Theta. Like, there's still people manning this thing. I think I it's sus. It's sus to me, you guys. I think she. I think. I think Catherine's not Catherine. That's what I think. Where else is there to go? Fair. But you'd think he wouldn't bother to stay at- Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, right, I have the little- I have my, my swimsuit on. Um, you'd think there would- you wouldn't bother monitoring anything down here. Like, why waste the power and the energy? Oh. Alright. Oh. Whoop. Don't want to get speared through the body here. If there's a Starbucks down here, it's got to very salty coffee. Oh, I'm back out here again? Son of a bitch. I wish I had Aquabot. Aquabot! Con! Okay, where are we going? Okay, uh, alright. This way, I guess. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Wow, Simon. Wow. Following the lights and the lights and the lights. Following the lights in hopes I find a bot. Hashtag epic foreshadowing. Oh, God. So, how am I supposed to feel bad for this poor sucker? I mean, I guess he doesn't have to be smart to be sympathetic, but... I wish I had Aquabot with me now. He'd know what to do which would be aimlessly float behind me while I wander around <laughs> until I find what he needs me to, what he needs to do. It's kind and genuine and did nothing to bring this situation about. I would like to I protesteth. I I I think we all we all need to harken back to that office he went into and decided that that was definitely a legitimate doctor's office stu slash study environment. That, that there was nothing shady about that at all. <laughs> but again, he's dumb. He is dumb. Mistakes were certainly made. I'm all alone. All by myself. There is no one here. Beside me, I'm all alone, quite all alone, all by myself, I'm all alone. He was dying of brain damage, not his fault, he got desperate. Well, I kept it, that, uh, desperate people do desperate stupid things, that's fair. I will give you that. They will do what they need to do. I just wish that what he had decided to do first would be go like go to like a Himalayan healer or something. Somebody who's gonna like rub stones on his face for a while. You don't have, honey. I don't. I'm sorry. I've already talked to your friend. We've we've had this discussion. I don't have anything for you, babe. 
What do you mean, am I ready? That don't 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 say that. That sounds very very dark, very ominous. No, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm not ready at all. I'm not prepared. How do I prepare? How do you prepare for this? You don't prepare for this. There's no book for this. I will punch you in the mouth, though. Nice big punch. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. If oxygen were poisonous, I think I would be in trouble right now, right? Okay, these are... Oh, I see a thingy. I can't get to the thingy. Did I just go in a circle? No. Why can't I get over this? Getting over it with Simon... A Simon Canadian man. There. Huh. Oh. Well, it's a window. Yes, a window into the stunning vistas of... Oh. That. Oxygen is, is poisonous, it can be poisonous and very flammable. Time is the fire in which we all burn. Even me, even your beloved Luna, with all of her beauty, with all of her grace, her impeccable, oh, her way with words, her shitty, Shitty way with words. Aquabot? Uh, uh, Aquabot? Aqua? No, it's not an Aquabot. Close the closing. Cl close. I can't. Okay, fine. Don't close the door. Close the door. Shut the door. Computer, shut the door. Oh, well, crow to hell. Protocol is I gotta get the hell out of here. That's the protocol. Protocol is ain't nothing left here for us, friend. Blinking at me. It's blinking. I want to... Push the button. Can I not push the button? Okay... Can I, oh, do I have to close the door? Is I have to figure it out? Is that? Closing the door. Unable to activate. Escape vessel. Give it. Missing. Closing it. Oh, you won't even let me. SOB. Fine. We were going places, baby. We were going places. It's lights even working. I'm gonna get lost, you guys. I can feel it in my little alien bones. Oh, hey. You're kind of adorable. Will you be my new Aquabot? I didn't save you, though. You have no reason to, to trust me or to help me. Follow the lights, though, Simon. Follow the lights. All right. So here's what Simon knows. Simon knows that the up, the ground, the the surface air, the surface world has gone to shit. Um, the ocean world has gone to shit, apparently as well. Uh. He's gonna need a lot of time to process this. I hope that this Upsilon place has, like, therapy or whatever.
This flashlight has got to be the worst flashlight in game history. They were like, oh, what does this character need? Oh, a flashlight. For what? I don't know. Just give him one. It's, sometimes it's dark. Yeah, but... <sighs> Catherine is potential waifu material for some. Is she? Is she hot? Absalon has kelp cookies. Ew. Don't put vegetables in my cookies. Oh, come on. You open everything else. Is it a security clearance thing? Gotta be... Show him your butt, Simon. Show him your butt. Can't read it. Can't do it. Can't frickin' do it. Nope. Really? Okay. So now what? This way? Into the- into the wind? No, that can't be right. Man, I don't want to start and end in the water tonight. I want to get out of the water. I want to get... I want to get in. <sighs> get out of my... No, I'm sorry. I won't. I won't do that. I won't. I'll resist. Hello, crap friend. How's, you know, how's the end of the world been for you guys? Seem to be doing all right. There was a robot over here. Or at least, maybe it was further back. I don't know. Oh! Oh, that's just the end of a pipe thingy. What's this? Anything over here? Except death and disappointment? Not necessarily in that order. No. Oh, I can hear the whales singing. Um, it's good to know a couple of them are still around. Unless they're also robots. Okay, so are all the whales robots too? That's here. No flashlight? Flashlight. Did you see anything happen? Did you see anything change? There's a shiny light over here. Ooh. Shiny light. I've gotta be... So, here's another thing. Simon has not had a goddamn thing to eat this entire time. I know it's a game, but it, by now he'd be dead, right? He'd be dead for- oh, I see. Oh, we're back to this thing again. He'd be dead, right? Okay, so actually I am gonna go back up here because there was a there was a a fork back up here. Like, he's gotta eat, unless that's a part of it. Unless it's like, oh, Simon has uh, enhanced bi biology. He. Not in the right places, I bet. <sighs> Can eat like a big fat pig, but. Nope. Can't get over that. Suit also puts baby food up his butt to absorb the nutrients. But nutrients, but but nutrients. I mean, I would accept that as an answer. If if that was the answer, it was like, oh, there's a feeding tube, just sort of 
funneling nutrients, pure nutrients, per, you know, like Soylent Green up into there. The place I want to go is quite near the broken vessel I entered. There's nothing happening, unless I can climb, there's nothing happening behind the vessel. Greenish light. Well, there's a greenish light there. There's a greenish light here. That's like, every light under the water is greenish. There's a greenish one. Oh. Wow. How did I frickin' miss that? Why did I- I came from that direction. I came from that direction. Why didn't I see that? Huh. Cause I'm oblivious. Hey, Eamon, welcome! This must be Lambda. Where Catherine is. She's not in Lambda. Catherine's at Theta, right? You got that wrong, my friend. Unless there's a storyline inconsistency there. She's at Lambda? All right. She said she was Theta. Or at least I thought that's what she said. Or see, she's not here. Not the real Catherine. Catherine's chasing Catherine is an achievement. Oh, really? I can't wait to tell mom and dad. Put that on my resume. I'm very good at chasing Catherine. I think she's a big fat liar pants. I think she's not real. I, or at least she was real, but she's not real anymore. I think she's just robo Catherine now. Consciousness Catherine's gone. She, like, real Catherine is gone. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, now. Flashlight off. Flashlight very much off. I like this store, you guys. I know I'm on I know I'm on safe mode, but like it still doesn't feel safe. I don't feel safe, you guys. I don't have my I don't have my my I don't have my woolen sweater Irish woolen sweater. I don't have a cup of cocoa. I don't feel safe. Catherine is dead. I told you Catherine wasn't here. Picky? No? Peeking? 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 Catherine? Oh fuck, you said something. Shut up! Don't look at it! Oh, fuck me. Don't look at it? What am I not looking at? Ah! What am I supposed to do? I can, I can throw shit at it. I think it's safe to come out now. Oh, fuck you, Catherine. You don't, what do you know? You don't know shit, Catherine. You don't know. Simon, are you there? I'm hurt. Well, open the goddamn door, woman. <laughs> open the door. Oh, you are fucked. I'm fucked, you're fucked, we're all fucked right now. 
What do you want me to do about it? Break the glass? Maybe. It's gone. We should be safe. Okay, open the door. It's stuck. It's actually stuck. It won't come out. It's oh, there we go. How do I throw this thing again? I forgot how to throw. I'm trying. You're just All right, let me Key bindings. Whoa. What did I do? There may be other doors. Yeah, but I'd actually do want to know how to throw stuff. Cancel interact, right mouse. Huh, all right, well, doesn't say. Wait. Auto detect settings, display, post effect, rendering, gamma. Ugh. You think it's gone. You think it's gone. She thinks it's gone. Catherine, the expert on what it is, thinks it's gone. Great. You know what I'm doing? I'm closing this mother bitcher. See, at least that was helpful. Terminal 27 activated. Miara. Very handy. Where the fuck are you? Yeah. Where are you? I'm right next to you. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. Yep. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. Uh... You sure? It sure is how it looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay. Focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omnitool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh, yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omnitool. What's a Cortex hey, chip? Hey, Jeep. It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Ooh. Come on, I just, I need She's gonna you give to me your chip, you guys. We're gonna go steady yeah. now. All right. Thanks. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Oh, I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Opener. It's standardized connect. Hey, T-Bader. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. It's a big-ass chip. It's more like a... T-bone steak. Hey, look, it's all fucked up with the little weird... 
It's got the weird tentacles on it. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were gonna launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Wow. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Huh. Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then Sorry, suddenly comet, it became not very meteor. important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. A uh, Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Oh sure, my god. Kath. Thanks, I'll unlock the door for you. Great. What could possibly what be in the other room? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. That's it? Whoa? That's all you're gonna give me? Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Gotta remember to keep hydrated. Actually, I'm also going to take a potty break. A potty break, potty break, and a refill. Uh, so, ooh, let's go look at the window. Can nope, nothing to see there. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Tar har har har. All right. I'm going to pause and go take a potty break. Be right back. Pause it. One uno momento. Da 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 back. Okay. I have a I oh and I was supposed to stretch. T beta redeemed stretch. I'm stretching. Oh wow. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Oh, every time I see emotes, it makes me want my emotes. They're on their way. They're in process of being made. Ah <sighs> okay. I have a new I have a new beverage. I've refilled. I've refilled myself. Myself. Beverage. I've stretchy stretchy. Um just a quick question. Be honest. 
Um, I don't do, I realize that I, I don't do the whole go to a, I'll be right back screen when I do stuff like that. Is that weird? Should I have, should, would it be better if I had a, I'll be right back screen? Or it like, is it weird to have my, my digital corpse just kind of hang in there? Just like, meh, it's fine. <laughs> I never thought about it until I saw people with screens that were like, I'll be right back. And I was like, oh, okay. Banging meat suit is hilarious. <laughs> Excellent. It fine to me. All right. <laughs> okay. I just wondered if it was weird to just sort of have I'll be right back. <laughs> And I'm back. <laughs> All right. Okay. So since I'm paused here, we'll 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 go over some of what we've learned. Okay. So Catherine is a consciousness in a robot, which I figured, but she is not the complete consciousness of Catherine because she doesn't know if she, the human Catherine with the with the meat suit, is alive. Also, Catherine is totes waifu material if you're AI. Ugh. Oh, she's all yours, Modbot. <laughs> uh, but okay, so there's a thing. But she's also confused about how about Simon's sitch. Which is appropriate because I think that that's everybody who hasn't played the game. Incorrect. No, she says she doesn't remember. What I mean is that Catherine. Catherine, this Catherine, Catherine in the in the Omni Tool, Catherine does not remember. Catherine is complete by diverge before Catherine's death. Yes. So everything that everything, every memory or every experience that every Catherine that Catherine had up to a point is now Catherine in the Omni Tool. Whereas there is another Catherine that has all that as well, but potentially, but more Catherine. Mm, how can they both be whole if she doesn't remember? Is Catherine human? This Catherine? Hmm. If you were to ask me based on what I know now, I would say no. Catherine is a computer program based on the knowledge and experiences of that input from one person. Uh... That's based on what I know. So you know more than I do. Well, for one, humans have arms. And Mod, like, <laughs> I just did that to be mean to Modbot. She doesn't have arms. Can't be human if you don't have arms. Catherine said she was human at one point and could possibly still be alive. Good point, which means she doesn't consider herself human. Or at least, I mean, we could, we could be, she could be, we could be being, uh, it could be semantics. It could be all semantics at this point. Human supersedes the physical condition. It's, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. But then where is the humanity? Where is, where does that, what is it? What is it? If it's not the meat suit, and it's not the brain, and it's not the consciousness, what's the human part? Oh, human is a miserable pile of secrets. So then humans have a soul? Humans have a soul? Or is it, or is it just, are we just dealing with consciousness here? Awareness. Awareness of mortality. Because all the robots are like, I need help, I'm hurt. I need help, I'm hurt. I'm injured, get me some help. So they're aware of their, that they're not only are they damaged, but that they are aware that if they, something, if they continue to remain damaged, that they will cease to function. See, this is why I don't understand why I'm the only person I know that likes the movie Bicentennial Man. 
everybody's like, oh, that's such a stupid, cheesy movie. And I'm like, no, it's it's fabulous. They may not be human, but their personhood cannot be argued. I don't know what the litmus test for personhood would be, though, because I mean, you could make a we could all just assume this is very sophisticated AI. I mean, what makes me human? I mean, well, I guess nothing because I'm alien, but that's that's neither here nor there. I've never seen it. Nobody knows. Robots here have purpose and drive, which is admirable. <laughs> that is true. It's a great cheesy movie, and it asks the similar questions. Okay. Return to game. Let's get on with it. I'm just gonna throw shit. None of this seems important. What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? That's what people Confusing say about at me. Least. Gives the senses a good punch. Here's what I would say. So we so when we in science class when we define when we define a living thing, right? Uh, one of the things that defines a living thing from a non-living thing is that it can grow and reproduce. Uh, now, a file can reproduce, it can, um, but can it grow? So, and is personhood connected to the ability to grow? Or are those separate? I rolled, ah, it's dark. It's dark. Turn on the lights, Catherine. God damn it. They make me use my flashlight. Yes, viruses, there's viruses. The question of viruses. Wait a minute. What the hell? What happened to the tower and the dock and the welcome center? What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's, it's so strange. Hey, Potato Mano. This is a completely different layout. This is not the layout. There was a hallway. Right? Am I crazy? So we moved. Fuck. Fuck. I don't know how far I am into the game. I Sumio Nothing. said I'm about halfway. What? Nothing. Never mind. What am I looking for now? It's a completely different layout. Oh, good. Right next to the dirty, filthy, never washed sink. A nice open butthole. Uh. Ugh. Yui. The shuttle station. Good, good. Uh, yes, we've discovered that Catherine is a robot. Or in a robot. And we're having an argument about what constitutes personhood. Ew. Guys, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be scared. I don't want to be scared. I'm already scared. Why am I? What am I talking about? 
Ooh, I think I see it. What if it's scared of me? Why would it be scared of me? I'm a meat pile. I'm a meat. I'm a pile of bones and blood. It's made of presumably metal pieces. Hands are weird. Yes, no argument there, but do what's weirder than hands? Feet! Oh, god damn it. I hate having to turn my flashlight on. Is this another, like, employee get break room? I think it. You think it'll leave me alone? Ah! It made a noise. What are you doing? Be careful. I'm working on it. I throw a pillow at it, and we can have a nice, fun pillow party. Pillow, pillow fight. Ooh, it's outside. I think. Oh, it's that poor bastard that needs juices. Juicy juices. Uh, by the way, Potato Mono, if that's true, then fuck this game, because that's basically uh, the whole thing I was saying to Case about how if this turns out that it's all a fucking dream, I'll, I'm going to flip the table and I'm going to send you the bill. Catherine. She needed me to get stuff. But I don't know where to get stuff. That's where I went before. That's where I went before. That's where I came from. We went into that room. Oh, this is it. This is... Oh. Wait, did this change again? It did, didn't it? Oh, God. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Anything about the Ark. Oh, we left the unicorns behind again. Damn it. Every time. Every time we got to do this, one of these cataclysmic... Rescue situations, the stupid unicorns get left behind. Opinion poll. Ooh. Is this going to be like, um, is this like a, uh, 2103? Um, swipe right Are situation? Are excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So um. you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Okay. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the arc? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do, am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved so... the biggest problem. 
I mean, they're gonna fire, they're gonna fire it into space, and then what? Where was it? What the fuck? Where are they gonna go? Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not gonna be easy. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible by every definition. It really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics, beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Nice. That's definitely not to It's future Toronto. Oh, nice. Yes, this is all very matrixy. Okay. Put your brain pieces, put your brain pieces in the one zeros and the zeros and the ones and the ones and the zeros go into the thing, the box of the arc box with the cute little weird little water bear face on this side. I wonder if that was intentional. That's true, Jeep. Ah. Uh, Recognize this. This is the visor he had on in this chair. And it's, you go on the visor. You put on the visor. You put on the visor, and then the, the th thought pieces go into the thingy. And then the thing from the thingy, the thought pieces go into another thingy, uh, which is a, presumably this thing, or in this thing, and it goes into the chip. Into the chip. So your human, your your personality goes into the chip, and then, and then you invite all your friends over for a techno orgy. That's a very different thing. That was probably a very different thing. Pieces for if you want to build your own at home. Would you like to transfer your consciousness on the in the comfort of your own home? Get the Arc 2000. You're the first streamer I've actually seen take a good look at these schematics. Hey, I'm curious. Maybe there's secrets inside. I like secrets. A whore will have her secrets. Um, a tube. So part slot B goes into divot, divot A, and then there's a... There's a a dripping tray. There's like a drainage tray and a satellite, and we put it in the thing once we're all loaded in, and we fire it into the space. And that's space. There it is. Ideal arc orbit closest to the sun. Sun. Earth. So the arc would orbit closer to the sun than the Earth. But not quite as close as Venus, because gosh, thank goodness, because it would get roasty toasty. All right. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. Oh no. I don't have a ticket. The survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. Like, how do you... <laughs> Test run that. I know how you do it. You get a poor schlub from Toronto to think he's going in to get a, a reparative brain scan, only to realize that he's being sucked into, unwillingly sucked into a digital arc, thrown into space against his will. How do you describe your physical condition? Uh. Can I answer?
answer. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. That's how I feel. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel disconnected. Separation of mind and body. I feel altered. A change in character. I feel lost. I don't exist anymore. I feel lost, you guys. I feel a little bit lost. How would you describe your senses? Heightened. Uh, I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses. Hmm. As expected, I guess. Given the circumstances. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Wait a minute! I'm in the Ark! I don't know why that why that's such a duh moment. Because this wouldn't this 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 thingy, this I don't know what word I'm looking for, this wouldn't be available to me. According to its own description, it would not be available to me unless I was in the Ark. So my brain is already in the Ark. I'm already all zoomified. I'm sucked in. Oh no. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? What are you talking about? Uh, I feel like I lost myself. Yes, I mourn my previous existence. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Cue the supernatural logo. Okay. Uh, I feel f I don't feel fine. I feel lost. I'm confused. How do you perceive your new existence? This is it. This is it. This is this whole piece. This 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 dumpster fire of an underwater. Uh, like, s research facility is where I'm gonna stay? That wasn't like anything that was in the pictures. That's not what they said I was gonna be living in. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Uh, no, it's too detached from reality and everything I know. I wonder if the way I answer these questions has anything bearing on how the game proceeds. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Whoa. Well, there's the question. Is, is, what, is part of what makes a human being a human the fact that they are going to die? The fact, not only death, but age. Because yes, there's the memory is one aspect of aging, but the passage of time, the perception of the passage of time, the perception that things will cut, certain things will end and certain things will continue. Um, that goes away if you can just perpetually download yourself into a new body or whatever. And what does that do? To, a, to one's psyche, we won't know. It's not something that one would, there's no one alive that knows. Because obviously you'd have to be in the scenario for a, quite a while. Maybe, I need to think about it. Thank you for participating. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. She I think so. It, it's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please Here, right? Let it be safe. Wait, it was supposed to be somewhere in in between Earth and Venus. Now you're defining humanity by our mortality. Curious. It's not so, It's not the only aspect of humanity, but it is certainly a one of them. Um, because, of, so there's always asked that question, would you take immortality or, you know, if you had a superpower, what would it be? And then it's like, you have a choice between flying and living forever. 
And almost no one I know has ever picked living forever. Almost nobody. And when you kind of dig for why doesn't anyone want to live forever? Why wouldn't you want to live forever? Uh, it's always usually the answer is something around, like, oh, because I'd have to watch... I'd have to, one, you'd have to watch everybody you care about, theoretically. You'd have to watch everybody you care about dying around you, so that would be depressing and sad. And then anything that you would strive toward would have no meaning because you would have infinite time to do it. You, there would be no reason after a while to, to do things, to pursue things. You would essentially become bored. Uh, because... Because you, there's no why. Why do anything? Yeah, you'd see, I mean, obviously, you'd see everything. You'd do everything you wanted to do. You'd see everything you wanted to see. Because their time would be there. But then what? Then what would you do? Oh. Oh. I found it. Oh. 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 So the Ark is, oh, the Ark is on the Earth still. Well, like, why do people have bucket lists? Like, people have bucket lists because they have a list of things that they want to do before what? Before when? Before they die. Why make a bucket list? Why bother to, why make a list? It doesn't matter because you have time to do it all. So don't, why, why prioritize anything? Just do whatever comes up first. That's why people make bucket lists because they know they're gonna die. Um, select a secretary to scan. Bye Sumio, thank you for sticking around. Thank you. Good luck at work. Oh, it's not in Canada. This is an annoying system. baby. Well, there's a lot of water case in the world. Oops. There we go. Hooray. Are you kidding me? Oh no, it's gonna tell me that it's back here or some stupid shit. There. It's gotta be on one of these, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Oh, well, that was deadly. That was the easiest one so far. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. <sighs> a couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Oh, damn it. Well, I guess we're fucked then, aren't we, Catherine? There's something that makes you human or not. Flexibility, my friend. Adapt or die. All right. And you were wrong, Coyote. It's not in water. It's on Earth. It's on the land pieces. 
Or no, is this all underwater? What's this line then? What's this line? I got the impression, this was sort of an impression that it was... This was a line of land. What's this line mean? Usuki redeem stretch. I will stretch. Stretchy, stretchy. Stretch the boat. Oh gosh, it's past 10. No. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. Yeah. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, don't blame Catherine. you. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. And I'm a mission. big dumb dope. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the Climber without a power suit. Whatever that means. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Definitely. Okay. So we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Oh God. Under the sea. Um, Where did you go? Hell? I'm waiting. Uh, you know what? I bet it's I bet it's it's not as much fun to fuck when you're AI. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Oh, you can probably replicate Don't all the sensory expenses, off. but is it really the same? And now the stupid thing's gonna come out of nowhere. And I'm gonna drop Catherine and she's gonna get all crunchy. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good yeah. luck, Simon. Huh. Great. Perfect. I want this, I wanna save you, I wanna save you brain to show up. I. So how do I get out of here? Uh. Uh. Oh. Pocket Catherine. Pocket Catherine, perfect for <laughs> travel size for your convenience. That reminds me, me and Case we're nerding about nerding out in Discord about bags. <laughs> oh, 400 400 ripstop. Ripstop nylon and super hot sexy compression straps. Teflon liner. Tell me more. Okay. So, out out? Five hundred deep listed on her go by yourself. <laughs> Listen, the heart wants what it wants, the bag man gets what he wants. Okay, what are we doing? I want to get out. So we have to go to, we have to go, where do we gotta go? We gotta go to... Ah, uh, slimy pieces. I don't like this story. I have to get... I want to get out. Uh... Okay. Well, that's bad. Alright. This is the worst, you guys. All right. Oh, this is where I came from.
Oh, maybe because I'm on safe mode, I didn't have to deal with the creepy weird monster. Monsters, you guys, all over the place. Or maybe the monster's outside! back to the ballistic nylon, the ballistics nylon there, uh, case. Be honest now. Have you ever been shot at? Come on. Come on. Be honest. Plus, I bet ballistic nylon isn't very cozy. Doesn't have that nice microfiber silkiness that we all love. Uh, no, but I've crashed what? a lot. Fair. Who's this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Ooh. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear yes. You. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, it's dead. Why the oh. shot? The CD yeah, came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great. Oh, so I don't need you anymore is what you're saying. I'm underwater again! Okay. So if I stop right now, will I lose everything? Like, I know that it auto-saves, but I noticed that there's a little, like, glowy brain that shows up in the corner periodically, and I assumed that it was that little save icon. Um, but I know it auto-saves. I just wonder if it will, when I, where I will have to start over if I stop right now. Let's see. Let's save and exit. I can save. Yes. Oh, it did it. Yay. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, the plot thickens. And now the questions, the, the big questions start. Uh, yeah, I'm not convinced about the, I'm not convinced that about Catherine being human still. Because she still doesn't, she's at least Catherine, micro, like, like Omnitool Catherine, because she doesn't, there's stuff she doesn't know that other Catherine would know. So how is she complete? You know what I'm saying? How can she p consciously be complete? Um, she is complete to a point, to a time. She is a, so that's how she is a, uh, like a marker in time of how she cannot age, really, technically, beyond that point. This Catherine knows stuff that human Cath doesn't know. Hmm. Perhaps. But if human Catherine is the progenitor of robot Catherine... Hmm. She is different. Right, she was a former scan, so anything that happens after the scan, she won't know. Right. So she's still limited, she's limited by that. Her experience is limited by that. I mean, cat, like, human experience is limited to the senses as, as well. All right. I gotta think about it. I can't sit here and puzzle about it on the on air. That would be annoying. Although, I mean, streamers have slept for done twelve hour streams where they did nothing but sleep, and got plenty of views. So who you knows? Maybe there's something to it. <laughs> 
Well, I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining me tonight. Thank you for for puzzling over this with me. Thank you for arguing with over it with me. Uh, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the subs and the support. And I keep coming back because it's going to get better. I promise. It's going to be great. Um, I always like hanging out with you guys. Um, obviously, I'm obviously going to keep going. I'm not done. <laughs> I want to finish Soma. So this will be on the, the this will be definitely on the schedule for next week. The next uh, tomorrow is off and the day after is off. But then my next stream is going to be with uh, it's going to be Team Starstruck and Jackbox games. So it's Team Starstruck. It's me, Lu Rumi, Cassie, and Uni all together once again without Aquabot. But rest in peace, Aqu oh, Aquabot. As far as we know, is still around. So team, go team starstruck. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thank you so much. I, uh, um, still waiting for a response back from Ollie. Keep my fingers crossed. Won't get my buns in the twist. <laughs> but, um, you guys have a good night and I will see you. I will see you for, for Jackbox games with team starstruck. Oh, Usuki! <laughs> oh, very good, very good. One second. All right, guys. She's Us she, Usuki has redeemed the king cover. Excellent. Let's see. How do I do this? I'll tap. Boop, 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 There we go. All right. You asked for it. <laughs> Morning, morning, could be made on in a dungy juice or rude at night. May not dungy to me, eh?